Hi. Hey, Miho. How are you? Good. This looks like a long workout. What was that? This looks like a long workout. Yeah, I'm giving you guys a 40 minute time cap. Yeah, it seems like, I mean, it took some people 35 minutes, so I might as well give you guys 40 minutes. cat. Give it like one more minute. All right, must not be a very popular workout today. Okay, everyone, let's go ahead and take a look at the chat. I'm gonna paste it over. Okay, so today we have a pretty long workout. Okay, it's gonna be five rounds of 20 kettlebell or dumbbell swings, whatever object you have, followed by 200 meter run. Right, so your 200 meter run, if you're not gonna run, you're gonna be doing one minute of cardio. So I've listed some options. Um, that's supposed to be an up down, not an up town, right? Or high knees um, or jump rope or jump jacks. And then um, after that, you have 20 single arm clean and jerks, 10 on each arm, right? And that's gonna be from the floor, each rep. 
And then afterwards you have another 200 meter run, right? One minute of cardio. And then you have 20 sumo deadlift high pulls with your dumbbell or your kettlebell. And then after that you have a 200 meter run. Um, and then 40 minute time cap, all right? Five rounds total. So it's gonna take us a little bit longer today on this workout. When you look at Sugar Wad, uh, people finished around 30 minutes and then as long as 36 minutes. So I'm giving you guys enough time to finish the workout. What's up, Tim? What's up, Sarah? Hey. Um, we paste the workout in the chat again for you. All right, so today, five rounds, the longer workout, we're having a 40 minute time cap. Um, and then, so if you guys finish the workout, uh, we finish, and there's gonna be like five minutes left still, and people are gonna be working. And I want you guys to go ahead and just start stretching. So I've listed a couple stretches there. You're gonna do a finisher with a pigeon on each side, 60 seconds. I'll be sure to show you what these are before we start the workout. And then afterwards, the forward fold for two minutes, okay? Uh, just something to feel like you're you know, utilizing that time rather than just waiting around. Okay, any questions? Nope, cool. All right, we don't have much time, so let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna do some mobility. So we're gonna get onto the floor in a 90 and 90, right? So when you look down at your legs, both of them should look like 90 degree angles. Right, so my shin, shins are going to be parallel. My knees are going to be parallel. I'm sorry, my knees are not parallel, so my shin. You want to be in the body. You want to be in the body. Okay, so we're going to place our hands on the floor right here beside us. And I want you to think of Hold on. Cool. All right. So we want to be uh, sitting on the ground in a 90 and 90, right? So both legs are like a 90 degree angle. And then from here, we're going to place hands on the floor. One is going to be in between our leg, one of the, the other hands going to be beside our thigh. I want you to think of Slightly leaning forward in a sense where you feel like you can get more range of motion. So if like here feels tight for you, but up here you feel like you get a little, little bit more out of it, you're going to hang out here, right? So from here we're going to think of pushing our shin into the ground, right? We're pushing down into the ground. We're going to hold that there for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, and one. Good, now I want you guys to think of trying to pull your chest down towards your knee, right? And then leaning forward from here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. And then from here, we're gonna to turn towards our back ankle, think tall spine, we're gonna hold that here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And then we're gonna go back to our forward knee, hands on the floor. We're gonna think of pushing that shin, right? Our knee to our ankle into the ground. We're gonna hold this here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna pull our chest towards our knee, leaning forward for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Tall spine, we're going to turn towards that back ankle. We're going to hold it here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good. Now we're going to go ahead and switch our 90 and 90 setup. Good. So from here, we're going to place hands onto the ground. We're going to think of pushing our shin into the floor as we think tall spine leaning forward, holding it here for 10, 9, 8, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Think of pulling your knee to the chest for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, we're gonna think tall spine, we're gonna turn towards that back ankle. We're gonna hold it here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna turn towards that forward knee, hands on the floor, think of pushing that shin into the ground. Holding it there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Think of pulling your knee to the chest, leaning forward more. Oh, I forgot that for the last one, my bad. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Good, tall spine, back ankle one last time for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work, you guys. Now we're going to go ahead and stand on up. We're going to loosen up our hamstrings, right? So I want you guys to think of you're going to bend one leg and extend one leg. So I'm going to straighten out my right leg. I'm going to reach for my heel, push my butt back, trace up towards the ceiling, and we're going to alternate. Good. Pushing those hips back. We have about 25 seconds here. Reaching to the floor. Awesome work. Now we're gonna go into toy soldiers, right? So we're gonna do opposite arm, opposite leg. So I'm gonna kick my left leg to my right hand, and then I'm gonna switch. If you're really tight, start off low, and then work your way up higher. You're gonna do this for the next 15 seconds. Good, opposite arm, opposite leg. Now we're going to go into some inchworms, just a couple. So we're going to have feet below the hips. We're going to walk the hands out small steps. When we get to here, go ahead and drop the hips. You're going to look to your right, look to your left. You're going to go into down dog, push those heels down, walk the hands back to the feet, and then stand. We're going to do it just for the next 40 seconds, slow and controlled. Even if you only get two more, that's okay. No big deal. About 15 seconds. All right, you guys. Next thing we're going to go into is bootstrapper. So we're going to think of having a little bit of a wider stance than our squat stance, just so by a hair, not much. And then we're going to push the butt back. We're going to reach for our toes. Knees are unlocked. We're gonna, oops, I'm gonna forward. We're gonna drop the butt, push the knees out, right? Hold this, and then we're gonna push the hips back up and then stand. So hips back, grab the toes, drop the butt, push the knees out, keep the chest up as much as you can, and push the hips back up and stand. We're gonna do these for the next 30 seconds. Bootstrappers. Good. Try to push those knees out at the bottom.
All right, you guys, nice work. Now we're gonna go over the movements we have in the workout. So we're gonna warm those up and continue to get warmed up by warming up those movements. Uh, so we're gonna go over the kettlebell swing or the dumbbell swing. Oh, okay, hard for one second. Whoa. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, demo with my dumbbell because I don't have a kettlebell. If you've been swinging a dumbbell this whole entire quarantine, you've probably learned by now that you have to really make sure your feet are a little bit wider, right? So that you can push your hips back and think of getting chest towards the floor, right? Because it's kind of an awkward position with our hands, it tends to make it a little bit wider than if we were holding a kettlebell. So we have to really make sure that we're able to push our hands back enough and get that chest towards the floor, right? So we can get um, our butt back far enough. Because if not, what happens, our uh, swing tends to be a little shallow, right? We kind of stop because our hands aren't able to go back further in between our legs. So they just have a little bit wider stance trying to get that chest to sweep to the floor. So I want you guys to go ahead and give me 15 dumbbell or kettlebell swings. Keeping the shoulders back, squeezing glutes, squeezing abs. Awesome. So we're doing Russian swings, but if you want, you can totally go overhead depending on if you have a dumbbell and if it feels safe or not. All right. Good. Next is going to be our clean and jerk. It's going to be from the floor each rep, right? So from here, my starting position, I think of having a, back, a flat back. Hips are going to be back. I'm going to think of jumping up. I'm going to extend my legs. I'm going to shrug, pull my elbow up, and then drop under the dumbbell slightly, and then stand. And then oh, I'm going to keep it here, and then I'm going to go for my jerk, right? So I'm going to dip. I'm going to extend my hips, punch the ceiling, drop in a quarter squat, and stand. It's going to look like this. Then back down. Right, so I'm using my hips for the movement, right? So really think of squeezing your glutes as you go throughout the movement. Go ahead and give me five on each side. If you use a kettlebell, you really need to think of pulling that elbow up and under so that it lands right in that front rack position. Nice work. These shorts I have on are so annoying. <laughs> okay. Uh, and now we have our sumo deadlift type ball. Wait till you guys are finished. Okay, so for your sumo deadlift type ball, you guys, if you have your kettlebell, you get to hold it by the handle. If you're holding a dumbbell, you can think of holding in between the handles or on the sides, right? So I have a dumbbell here. I want to have my deadlift starting position. Right, same thing, I want to think of lifting with the chest, extend the legs. And then from there, I'm going to pull my elbows up, right, and then back down. I won't touch the floor because I have neighbors below me, and then I have a metal dumbbell, so choice is yours if you want to touch the floor. Go ahead and show me 10 right now. Just 10. Good. Think of really using those legs. Legs extend before we pull. All right, you guys, nice work. So let's go over our cardio options, right? Because if you're not gonna do 200 meter run, a, a 200 meter run, you have either a jump rope as an option, or you can do jumping jacks, right? You can do high knees, you can do mountain climbers, uh, you can do up down. So up down is basically like a burpee, but no push up. So I'm gonna keep my hips about as high as my shoulders as I drop down and then go back up. Right, so that's an up down. Uh, mountain climbers would just be knee to the chest and then extend the leg back. All right, go ahead and give me 10 seconds of what you're going to be doing. If you're running, go ahead and just give me like 10 high knees right now. I just want to see what you guys have in mind. Corey, are the swings in the wad American or Russian? You know, I'm assuming they're going to be Russian because dumbbell overhead is kind of hard, but if you want to do overhead because you have a kettlebell, that's fine. Okay. It's going to make it harder. Cool. All right, you guys. So uh, does anybody have any questions about the movements we have? No? Cool. Um, let me go over the stretches we're going to be doing when you guys are done, right? So I have listed as pigeon. So pigeon, I want you guys to do a minute on each side, right? If you finish really early, just do two minutes on each side. 
right? And then your forward fold is you just reaching for your toes, leaning forward passively, don't force anything, all right? Uh, two minutes, all right? So we have 40 minutes on the clock for this one. I'm gonna do my best to not bore you with repeating a lot of the same things, but I can't promise that. So if you just tune me out, it's okay. All right, I'm gonna have the clock showing on the screen. Guys, look like you're about ready. You ready, Gregory? Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. Go, go ahead. I, uh, okay. I'm, I need to. It's a long way from where I was warming up to get to the outdoors, but don't, 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 don't wait for me. <laughs> oh no, we can wait. No big deal. Yeah, you're almost there. I still have to put shoes on. Seriously, go ahead and start. Oh, I'm not yeah, going to be okay. in competitive <laughs> time. All right. Thank you. All right, you guys, 10 seconds. Here we go. Three, two, two one. All right. Nice work, you guys. Breathe and move. Nice work, Kat. Sorry, guys. Took my phone away for a second. <laughs> Good job, squad. Keep breathing. Keep moving. Nice, Sebastian, squeezing your glutes. All right, Sarah. Big shrug, Sarah. Good. Good job, you guys. Really try to stay engaged as you're moving through your clean and jerk. Don't get sloppy. All right, nice work, Sebastian. Keep it up, Catalina. Nice work, Tim. Good job, Greg.
Nice work, squad. About four minutes in. Way to go squad, way to move, keep it up. Think about your breathing. That's gonna help you regulate your heart rate. Try to stay engaged, keeping those shoulders back and down on those sumo deadlift type pulls, using your legs, right? Make sure you, you are extending those legs hard and then your arms are guiding it up. Nice work, Sebastian. Keeping those shoulders back so we keep it out of the traps. Good job, Catalina. Good job, you guys. Breathe and move, keeping that steady pace. Think about what you are doing with the movement that you are, oh my gosh, sorry. Think about the movement that you are doing. Think of squeezing your glutes, squeezing your abs. If you're doing the kettlebell swing, pushing your hips back, chest sweeping to the floor. Nice, Sebastian. Nice work, Greg. Way to go, Tim. Keep working hard. All right, Miho, nice work. Welcome back. Nice work, Catalina. Squeezing those glutes, keeping those hips back on our power clean as we jump.
Nice work squat. Think of using those hips on your clean and jerk. Coming up on that 10 minute mark, you guys, keep it up. I think if you're actually running 200 meters, you'll probably be a lot faster. So it seems like my people who are running are a little bit ahead. Nice work, you guys, keep it up. All right, Sarah, welcome back. Here we go. All right, nice work, Greg, keep it up. Nice work, Catalina. Good job, you guys. Think about your breathing. That's gonna help regulate your heart rate. Nice work, Miho. Good job, Sebastian. Keep it up, you guys. Someone is yelling outside. Sorry if you can hear that. <laughs> That's my cardio yelling. <laughs> <laughs> Nice work, Tim. Keep it up. Sebastian, turn to the side for me. When you're doing that, I want to see. Keep your hips a little higher. Think of just leaning forward more, pushing your butt back. Good. Nice work, you guys. Keep it up. All right, squad, keep breathing, keep moving. You are about 14 minutes in.
Good job, Catalina. Keep it up, mijo. Squeezing those glutes. Big shrug when you jump. Good job, squad. Way to keep a steady pace. Think about your breathing. Good job, you guys. Keep it up. Make sure you're using those legs on your clean and jerks. You want to get your shoulders behind your hips as you are jumping. Keep it up, squad. I paste the workout in the chat again, just in case if it got anybody got disconnected and needs to see it again. Good job, squad, looking good. Keep breathing, keep moving. Nice work. I hope you guys ex succeed my expectations and finish before 40 minutes. All right, nice work, Catalina. Keep it up. Welcome back, Sarah. Nice work, Miho. Nice work, you guys. Keep it up. Beautiful day to run outside.
Looking good, you guys. Keep it up. Steady pace. <clears throat> nice work, you guys. Sebastian, are your feet shoulder width? Let's see. Are you able to go right into the next one without a pause? Good, just keep your hips a little bit higher so we don't do too much squatting. Good, more of a hinge, good. Nice work, you guys. 19 minutes to go. Awesome work. All right, good job, you guys. Way to move. Nice work, you guys, using those hips on your clean and jerks. Keep it up, you guys. Think about your breathing. Looking good. Nice work, Gregory. Keep it up. All right, Miho. Nice work, Kat.
Way to go, you guys. Looking good, everybody. Side to stay engaged, squeezing glutes, squeezing abs when you're moving through your movements with your dumbbell or your kettlebell. Nice work, Sarah. Good job, Catalina. Good job, Miho. Keep it up, you guys. You're about 28 minutes in almost. Nice work, Miho. Make sure we're keeping that back flat. All done, Greg? Oh no, okay. He's just resting. Good job, you guys. Keep it up. Nice work, squad. Keep it up. All right, Catalina, nice work. Good job, squad, keep it up.
Nice work, you guys. All done, Kat? Woo, good job. All right, Miho. Nice work. Keep it up, Tim. Nice work, Sarah. Nice work, you guys. All done, Greg? No, that was that was only three. Okay, you still got some time. Yeah, but I'm, I'm gonna take a, uh, a non-programmed break here for a minute and a half. Okay, okay, take kind it. Of, uh, nauseated and overheated. Yeah, outside can be a little bit warm. Yeah, take that time, it's okay. Big deep breaths. Nice work, Sebastian. Keep it up, Tim. All right, Sarah. Good job, squad. A little over six minutes left. Keep it up, keep squeezing your glutes, squeezing your abs. Nice work. Nice work, Greg. Good job, you guys. Keep it up. Nice work, Sebastian.
About four minutes left. Keep it up, you guys. Keep that steady pace going. All done, Tim? I made it. Awesome. Nice work. Have you finished? You're stretching. Good job, you guys. Keep it up, Greg. About two minutes to go here. Nice work, Sebastian. Keep it up, Gregory. Way to move. Think about your breathing. Coming up on our final minute. About 30 seconds left. Fifteen seconds. And then now he disappeared. <laughs> the person who was still working. <laughs> He's back. He's back. Three, three, two, two one, one, and done. done. Woo, nice work, you guys. Nice work, Greg. You got four rounds in, I think, right? I think so. Not quite, no. Oh, no, okay. All right, well, nice work. Good job, you guys. That was a really long one today. It's pretty much not bad, so well, in the sun when you're running. Thank yeah. you. All right, so go ahead and do your stretches if you haven't. It is about like one minute to one o'clock, and I do have a call at one. So have a great day, you guys. And nice Bye. Thanks, Bye. Thank you. Bye, guys. Thanks, Corey. Welcome. See ya. See you guys. Nice have a good work, one. everybody.